Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box unboxing. Today it's one of my subscription boxes. It is the Glossy Box subscription box for March 2023. So their most flexible plan is the rolling one month subscription, which is £14.75 per month. There are other cheaper plans, but you do have to commit to subscribing to them for a certain amount of time. And they say the value of this month's box is over £68. There is a card in the box which has one of their little QR codes on which takes you to their online leaflet. And that explains the theme for this month, which is called Dreamy Days. And they say, as the new season awakens and the first blooms of spring begin to appear, it's time to refresh your beauty bags and revitalise you your beauty routine. Make room for the delicate fragrances, luxurious skincare picks, and beautiful makeup looks our March Dreamy Days edit has to offer. So there is a description on all of the products in there, or a small description. They do give a value on this leaflet, actually, which is quite useful. And then there's some articles as well. So it's quite a decent little online leaflet. Now, the first item in this month's box is by, now I'm not, entirely sure how to pronounce this i think it's your gobe it's a danish brand so if there's anyone there from denmark if i've said it wrong i do apologize um but i think it's your gobe okay anyway it's the niacinamide serum it's 15 mils glossy box says this is worth 10 pounds the brand sells 50 mils of it for 25 euros which at the moment is about just over £22, uh, but smaller is often more by comparison anyway. And the brand says this highly concentrated and nutritious serum has been developed to restore the natural balance of the skin. The evidence-based concentration of 5% niacinamide evens out skin tone, smooths the structure of the skin and reduces pigment spots. Extracts from a Garicun mushrooms tighten the skin and minimise pore size, while hyaluronic acid combined with betaine, which is extracted from sugar beet, protects the skin and works to balance natural hydration. Allantoin has a restorative and soothing effect on the skin. So Cohorted did a collaboration with Yugobe, um, I think it was probably about a year ago, actually. So I've used a number of products from this brand before they had I did have their hyaluronic acid, which was fantastic. I really liked that one. Um, niacinamide isn't something I tend to use in my routine unless it's like an ingredient as part of something else. But I don't tend to use it um, on its own like this. And I think it's because you sort of get used to those ingredients that seem to work well with your skin type and then stick with those, don't you? And for me, this just doesn't really, it just doesn't feel like I need it in my routine for me. Um, but I have always passed on my niacinamide products to, to other people who both really like it. Um, I think it's good with people with that want to minimise pore size as well. I think that's a good use of it, or it seems to be help my friends who suffer with those sorts of problems, and it does help with them. So I will be passing it to one of them. I'm not sure who yet. I'm sure I gave, that I, I did have the niacinamide serum in that box last year, and I gave it to one of them, and whoever it was really really liked it so i have to find out who it was and they can have this this uh, smaller size but you know it, they'll still probably enjoy using it i have given it a go myself i've used it on my chin area simply because that's where i have got bigger size pores and i was just wondering whether it would make any obvious noticeable difference to be honest i didn't really notice much of a difference but then it, i don't really suffer from that as a problem so this is what it looks like. It is just like a, sort of a gel kind of serum. Let's put a tiny bit more. You didn't really see that, did you? Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. There you go. Sort of a gel type serum. And I don't think there's much of a smell to it. No, I can't smell anything. So yeah, it will be winging its way to one of my friends, whoever it was who tried it last time. Okay, the next item is 
by Color Wow. And it's the one minute transformation cream. It's 30 mils. Glossy Box says this is worth nine pounds. And the brand actually has this size on their website. But they've got it for 10 pounds. They say instant on the spot frizz fix. Apply to bumps, bends, and bedhead. Then either brush or blow dry the unruly sections for a super quick, smooth, polished refresh. No waxy, greasy build up on hair. It's for all type hair types, ideal for dry, dehydrated, frizzy, coarse or curly hair. And you use it on dry hair, you apply a small amount to those frizzy or unruly areas, brush through with a flat brush. And it does say for a more polished look, wrap sections around a brush and hit for 15 seconds with heat from the blow dryer. So I've already got this. I've got a really big size of this and then I've got another size the same a similar size so i have used it before and it is a really nice product this i actually carry around in my handbag um because i always find when i go out what happens with me is if i get the slightest amount of damp in the air my hair goes all frizzy and then I do get these little sticky up bits as well of little tufty hair that often um sort of make an appearance when I'm out and about. So I, I carry this one around with me because it's a really handy size to go in your handbag. I'll show you what it looks like. There you go, it's kind of like, it's quite bouncy. It's a sort of a bouncy jelly-like kind of moussey texture it is a, an odd texture now i haven't actually got any of this on at the moment um because i thought i was going to just see and see if I, I haven't got a brush to brush it through but i just wondered whether it would just work on those little fly away bits just by smoothing it on now i know you're supposed to brush it through but i know it works because i've used it before and i just thought it might be interesting i think last time i did it i did this on camera and it looked like it did actually make a visible difference straight away so i thought i'll try it again i think it's really nice this product and as i say it's a decent size to carry around in your handbag and just do this or just get I just get a comb I know it says a flat brush and everything but when you're out and about it's just easy enough to use a comb through it there you go there is a smell to this one just have a little yeah oh it's very pretty it's a pretty fresh sort of smell it's it's gorgeous it's like um outdoors washing smell washing in the breeze you know when it's drying in the breeze that kind of outdoorsy fresh smell i really like that so i'm happy to get another one now i'm not sure what to do because i've got a really big version that i tend not to use so much because as i say this is more of a sort of, for me an out and about one and i'm thinking rather than keep the big version i've got i might actually give that away and keep the two little versions so when i've run out of this one in my handbag which i will do because i do use it probably at some point every time i go out now um yeah whether just to replace it with that one and give the bigger one away because i've not been using that one as much okay i'm have a, gonna have a think of that i'm thinking it about it on the video which isn't the time to be doing it really okay the next item is by now this is a product product that i really rather like it's by a company called tint i've not heard of them before i'm not sure which way around it is i'm guessing it's let's have a quick look i can't tell i'm guessing it's that way around but it could be that way around apologies either or um it stands for truly you naturally transformed and it's a liquid eyeliner in the shade espresso so this is a full size which glossy box says is worth 15 pounds and it is available on the brand's website at 18 us dollars which is around 15 pounds at the moment there you go it's lovely isn't it 
Um, they say our phantom eyeliner where precision meets simplicity, a colour rich formulation that glides onto the skin with ease and strong colour payoff. It allows you to create eye looks from subtle to strong in a range of unique and classic colours for the perfect wing. Obviously, I've got espresso. To use it, you shake the wand well before opening and apply with controlled swift strokes to create your preferred liner look. Now, I think it's the way you don't expect it to be because that's sort of where the lid joins. So you expect that to be the lid, but I think this is the actual lid. So give it a bit of a shake. You can hear it doing a little bit of its something in there to help shake it up. And then, yep, so that's how it comes out. So the long bit is the lid for this. Now, I don't know whether you're going to see, it's such a fine sort of brush on this. There. It's like a paintbrush almost but like one of those really really fine ones so i have given it a go and it did take a little bit of getting used to i have to say because it's so fine and the first time i used it on one of my eyes it sort of it went on my eyelid so i had to dampen that off a little bit and fiddle around with it but i got got there in the end and it was quite nice to use i do think it's going to need a bit of practice this is literally my first time using it today so i'll show you what it looks like i'll come a bit close and hopefully you'll see it is a very thin line i've got on and i put this on a few hours ago it was it probably has needed another coat i would have thought um I was just looking at it before I started the video and I thought probably could have done with putting an extra coat on um, just to make it pop out a little bit more. But it's nice enough. It, it's there. You can definitely see it there. I think it just needs an extra coat for me. Um, I like it. I like it partly because it looks interesting. It's different. I've never had anything quite like this before. It's something i need to get used to using i think if you've got good eyes for it it would do a lovely little flick a cat eye flick cat i can't think what they're called but um i don't use that because i've got too many wrinkles but i think if you had a decent eye that would make a lovely one wouldn't it so it's like painting i think if you're good at art and painting that's going to be so much fun to practice with but I'll have a go too. Not not that because that would just look awful. Uh, but I'll have a go anyway, just trying to build it up a bit more because I do like it a lot and I like the colour. I was going to show the colour on the back, back of my hand actually. I haven't done that, have I? Plus I can show you sort of how it works. Let's just see where I can put this. So, so you can go really thin. It's not really doing it quite what I was expecting to do on the back of my hand so when I put it on I did it quite thin quite near to the um to my lash line and it did do a nice thin line that's nice isn't it but obviously you can get thicker that was a mistake though when I did it there um but it's nice I like it I think it's different it's unusual I'm happy to get that in a glossy box I think it's a great one for me probably my do you know what there is something else I really like in here though which is the next thing I was going to say it's my favorite thing but I think the next thing is my favorite thing so the next thing is by Aurica which makes me laugh because it, that reminds me of Ulrika Johnson and do you remember um Vic and Bob and Ulrika's I can't remember the name of the show the panel show anyway where they used to go Ulrika that's what it reminds me Ulrika um and it's the solid fragrance stick this is 4.5 grams glossy box says it's worth 17 pounds now i can't really confirm that valuation because it doesn't seem to be very widely available anywhere um i'm not sure if everyone gets the same fragrance i got orasmic i had a look on the brand's website it looks like they've sold out of this whole range of per, of item actually so I don't know whether it's an end of line product or something like that. They did have them on there enough for you to have a look at what the fragrances are. And this one 
it was a soft rose infused with hints of cardamom, a narcotic floral with crisp woods at its base. This intoxicating rose petal dream conjures visions of faraway lands and pink spice. Our spell proof formula dissipates onto your skin without colour or residue, leaving your skin luxuriously fragrant and soft with a few circular strokes of the fingertip. Packaged in a convenient twist of iridescent tube with a cap for ease of use and visibility. So this is what it looks like. I don't know whether it's iridescent, it just looks like but I read that right. Maybe I didn't copy that down right. This is what it looks like. So it's this sort of it's plasticky container. It is unusual and different. I've never had anything like it before. And this is what the actual perfume inside looks like. It's like a lipstick type thing, isn't it? Um, and then it, I've got it on this. Let me have a sniff first because I've been wearing this all day. So it's not a very long lasting one. I can just about pick something up still. I've had this on probably for about um, six, six hours, something like that, maybe a bit longer. And I can't really detect it anymore. But when I first put it on, it was lovely. And so you just pop it on like a little balm feeling to it yeah i like that i mean it is it is slightly rosy but it's a gentle nice smell it's, it's pleasant yeah it's interesting it's different i don't know which i prefer out of these two i like them both they're both really unusual and different and yeah i'm happy to try them both okay the next item now this is where we get usually usual glossy box type thing where there's a choice of three items you could get so you could either get skin and co roma the citrus Am amaro hand cream a deluxe size worth eight pounds which glossy box says banish dry cracked skin and add a silky soft touch to your hands with this soothing hand cream. This will ensure you give your skin the TLC it deserves whilst infusing your hands with a yummy citrus scent. Or you can get the L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream, a deluxe size worth £9. Glossy Box says a beauty must have for at home, work or on the go. Let the Shea Butter Argan and Coconut Oils contain within delicately moisturise and nourish your hands to help overcome dry or dehydrated skin. Or you can get what I got, which is the Pry Ageless Throat and Decolletage Cream Deluxe Size, which is 10 mils. Glossy Box says it's worth £5. They say this best selling luxurious cream features the unique Sepi Lift technology and hyaluronic acid to lift and tighten sagging skin, diminish fine lines, and give a more youthful looking appearance in just seven days. The brand also says it contains saxifrage and grape seed extracts which help fade age spots, vitamins A, E and F to rejuvenate ageing and damaged skin, and pry extract for amazing suppleness and glow. To use it, you apply a pea-sized amount daily in smooth upward strokes from cleavage to chin, smooth it on, don't rub it in to allow the plant-based elastoma to work its magic. It can be used morning and night. The cream, it says, is liable to roll on skin if applied too quickly or over-massaged. So I'm actually pleased I got this one. I've got quite a few hand creams at the moment, so I didn't really need any more. This I've had before and I really like it. I mean, it's a tiny amount though. However, it says you notice a difference in seven days, doesn't it? And I reckon you've got seven days worth just about in this little pot, even if you used it morning and night. So I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like, and this is what it's like. So it's quite bouncy, it's boingy. Um, put it on my arm. And it does blend in really nicely. There is a smell to it. Yeah. 
I like it. I've had it before. I think it's a really nice product to use as part of your... I personally just use it at night time as part of my nighttime routine. Um, interestingly, last time I used it, I didn't have such an obvious, noticeable problem with my double chin. Um, so <laughs> I didn't really notice any drastic results from it. But this time I'm going to be keeping an eye on, use it for the seven days, see if it looks a little bit firmer and lifted, which would be very nice if it did. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to get that one. I really like that product. Anyway, that's the end of the box. Do you know what I quite like this month's box? I do like it. So we start off with the, I've forgotten how to say it again, Yagobi, Yagobe, Yagobe, Yagobe. I wrote it down. I did the phonetic alf thing, Yagobe. So I think it's Yagobe. Let's see if I got it right. Your go bay, yeah, your go bay. I've got to try and get that in my head so I remember next time. Uh, the niacinamide Cree serum, which I think that will be going to someone else, but it will get a good home. Then we had the Colour Wow, which I like this product. It is a nice one. I think it's kept, I can't actually see. Oh, there is still a little bit of a fly away going on there, but never mind. It's probably because I didn't do it without the mirror. I was just looking there and I probably missed it completely anyway. Um, but it is a nice one to carry around in your handbag. So that's what I recommend you do with it. Then we've got the beautiful, beautiful eyeliner tint or T-Y-N-T. -T. I like that. I'm going to play with that a bit more because it's it's a really nice one to try. Um, then the lovely little perfume in a stick again this is a good handbag one isn't it i think so yeah that's a good one to keep in your handbag in case you're suddenly out and about and you think oh i forgot to put perfume on this morning which that happens to me an awful lot um i have been known to pop into john lewis on the way to meet somebody just to have a little bit of spritz of something because i've forgotten it don't do that all the time i've only done it the once but yes i have known i have been known to do that but yeah having this in your handbag would work equally as well okay and then we had the then it was the choice wasn't it so i ended up with the pry cream which i am very pleased about that even though it's a small size do you know what if it if i get unwell with it i would be tempted to buy that in a bigger size because i remember i did like it before okay so that's the box i think it's decent this month quite happy with it anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not sure when I'm putting this one out. I've done another one today, which was the was the next bridal box. So that one will probably go out today, it's Sunday today. But whenever I put this out, I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I hope you have a fabulous day, night, evening. I hope you have a fabulous year. Sending you lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of positive energy. And I hope to see you again here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.